Hi, everybody. My name is Timothy Trespass, and uh, I am a targeted individual. Uh, for those of you who don't know what that is, that means that I have been selected for human experimentation, MK Ultra style mind control, uh, covert drugging every day for years with LSD and hypnotic trance inducing medications, uh, gang stalked, electrocuted, uh, mind control, remote neural connection, Morgellons. Anyway, uh, I just watched a video by someone, uh, several videos actually, speaking about uh, that science is discovering that uh, particles from the sun, they believe something, they, they're not sure what, but they think particles from the sun are somehow mutating matter and that uh, the decay rates of radioactive elements such as carbon-14 and any other radioactive element which has long been used for things like carbon dating or running atomic clocks based on the decay rate of matter, or t uh, radioactive matter, um, that these decay rates are no longer the same that they're changing, that they're almost random, and in fact they change based on the seasons, to pace, based on possibly how much sun exposure there is. So, uh, if this in fact is true, we have to assume that uh, either these particles or whatever these emanations are coming from the sun are either only affecting carbon and other radioactive elements. Uh, so far I've seen no evidence stating that other elements are affected. However, the hypothesis uh, follows a logical congruent uh, path that says uh, if in fact this is happening, that particles are mutating the decay rates of radioactive elements, then they must be affecting matter on uh, on a very basic level, a level, uh, you know, we don't know why it's happening, supposedly. So, uh, the next logical assumption would be that it would be affecting all matter, not just radioactive matter. Human DNA, human cells, rocks, your car, your cat, your house, food, uh, everything. So, if in fact this is true, then uh, we have to wonder what's really going on. Um, you know, I know that these chemtrails uh, being sprayed um, for quote unquote weather modification um, contain all this ionic metal salts which to me would change the electromagnetic nature of the atmosphere uh, I know that some radiation in fact most of the radiation from the Sun as far as I know gets uh, how do you say sort of goes around the earth magnetosphere it comes from the Sun my hands and it comes from the sun and hits the earth and goes around the earth's magnetosphere and it actually stretches the magnetosphere you know uh, thousands and thousands of miles and the radiation travels around and follows the magnetic flux lines that the earth produces which is one of the reasons why harp and the northern lights take place at the poles uh, because right now the magnetic poles where the lines are perpendicular to the earth, they travel through the earth perpendicular and then spread out in 360 degrees to wrap around the earth and to come back through the earth. Um, so at the areas where you are perpendicular to 
or rather perpendicular this way to these lines of flux, you're able to affect uh, these lines of flux by shooting large volumes of radio, radio uh, energy, radio frequency energy up along these lines of flux into the ionosphere and that way it can spread out and flow through the ionosphere just like all the energy that this doesn't get pushed around the earth by the magnetosphere which of course protects us from burning up and a bunch of other things um, the energy that gets through a lot of it gets caught in the ionosphere where there are ionically charged particles these ions uh, really a lot of energy in the ionosphere uh, Tesla theorized that uh, we could beam energy into the ionosphere, take it back out of the ionosphere, and use radio receivers to take that energy and drive things and power things, but they didn't want that because it would be impossible to make people pay for it back then. Um, and they've also figured out that, yes, this can be used as a weapon. We can actually send energy up into the ionosphere and have it reverberate and bounce back down. Uh, causing a huge strike, instantaneous discharge of a fair portion of the ionosphere to one spot on the Earth, sort of like lightning, <laughs> except it has the power of thousands of nuclear weapons. Really interesting uh, technology. They've used it at least once. Uh, on some poor guy's farm in Scotland got hit by this thing, and uh, people showed up from all over the world, scientists trying to figure out just what it was that happened. Anyway, um, I have long understood that certain forms of radiation are affected by magnetic lines of flux. We know that uh, electrons uh, flow along lines of flux and other types of radiation does too. But it seems that whatever these particles or these emanations from our sun are um, that uh, they don't seem to be bothered by this stuff. I don't know. Some people are theorizing that chemtrails may partially be um, in order to protect or rather shield the human race from these new radiations of the sun so that we won't become uh, carbon-7 in our brains rather than carbon-12, and there's some stuff about carbon-7, and people are theorizing that those halos around the saints and the, and the powerful uh, spiritual people, the ones who are able to manifest and, and transcombobulate, <laughs> uh, that these halos and these light discharges and stuff we see may actually be this carbon-7 being produced in the brain, um, although they're not sure how, and this stuff doesn't hang around for a long time, I don't know, but it's a theory, supposedly carbon-7 has these miraculous, powerful um, things to it, and um, the carbon-14 no, carbon-12, uh, whichever one that we have, the one that our bodies is made out of. Uh, I was watching this thing where it has six electrons and six neutrons and six protons, making its number 666. And that's why they're talking about the number of the beast is the number of a man, because it would be the number of the carbon in our body. That would make a lot of sense. But this carbon-7 thing... Uh, it has six electrons and six neutrons and one proton, I think, so it's six, six, one, or anyway, I don't know. I have to do some more research and find out what is so special about carbon-7, and, uh, I don't know, carbon, carbon's a very interesting element, uh, almost... Well, not quite, but, but silicon, carbon, very similar uh, interest in building blocks. Carbon is the building block. It is the basis of uh, pretty much all carbon-based <laughs> life. So if uh, any shift in radioactive carbon, even non-radioactive carbon, any shift in carbon 
would be a shift in all life, and that's sort of what they're talking about with this. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, the other thing that they were speaking about is that perhaps Carbon-7 has the ability to amplify the electron, electricity, or electro whateverness of consciousness, you know, the, 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 we don't really know how to, what consciousness is measured by or whatever, but I, I gotta look more into this, because if, in fact, this carbon-7 can be used to somehow amplify consciousness in the same way that copper and iron can be used to amplify electrons, then we're talking about the basis for thought-based weaponry here. Um, Supposedly, this carbon-7 stuff is hard to make in the lab. We've got to find out more about that. But I found this all very interesting um, for many reasons. Uh, as you probably all know, you know, Morgellons is, uh, is the strangest mutation we've ever seen. And what it's doing to us, we don't know. That may be another attempt to... Uh, to stop the natural course of events. Um, I don't know. It seems to me that, that uh, these people that are running the New World Order uh, are all very happy with themselves. They're all very proud and, and celebrating and doing their magic spells and their sigil magic on us and their Olympic uh, rituals and such, they're all dancing around going, hooray, 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 the New World Order is here. But at the same time, um, if in fact, you know, I, I don't know, I mean, you got to look at all these things. What are they doing? Is this just depopulation? Is this just a, a bioweapon that they've released? Or is it actually doing stuff to us? I mean, we know that it's building all kinds of crazy uh, parts, crystals, and, and silicon, you know, semiconductors, <laughs> basically. It's building semiconductors, conductors, insulators, and crystals into us, multivibrators. Um, all the parts you need for radio, all the parts you need to amplify, uh, quantify, uh, the energy that would come from consciousness and uh, electromagnetic energy that affects the nerves affects, you know, it's the same frequency energy that your nerves run on I was thinking about this, about about the, the hearing thing that if you basically were able to measure the output of the nerves from the eardrum or from the optic nerve uh, going into the visual center of the brain or going into the hearing center of the brain and you measure this output, this waveform and then using you know artificial intelligence a hyper quantum computing and long experimentation, just taking vast amounts of output and quantifying it with the input so that you know how to build the algorithm that, you know, this set input produces, once it goes through this algorithm, produces this output, which matches the same thing as the input to the eye and the output from the optic nerve, etc., etc. And once you have this algorithm to change uh, sound into electronic waveforms that match what the brain will read and vision, electronic waveforms of what the brain will read and emotional states uh, the brain can be entrained to and also nervous system energy, flow of nervous system energy you know, with uh, functional MRI, PET scans and stuff, watching which parts of the brain light up and then going in and basically uh, with Microwave radiation, radio frequency, microwave radiation of the right frequency, you should be able to actually pinpoint the area of the brain and transmit these signals. Now, it's possible that uh, transmitting a multi, uh, a signal that is multiplexed, one that contains data for hearing, data for sight, data for speech, data for thought, data for 
you know, uh, each of these different things probably puts out its own set of wave patterns. This is just theory. I don't know. And perhaps bombarding, bombarding the individual with this set of wave patterns multiplexed on top of one another, that the individual areas of the brain could pick out the different waveforms that it responds to. Uh, this is just theory. I don't know. Or perhaps we have to actually have stuff go into the brain, you know, nanotechnology, smart dust, uh, radio frequency identifiable uh, parts, basically, that allow you to focus a, a crystal, a, diff a crystal of a certain material makeup, a certain crystal lattice, uh, a certain molecular size and weight will vibrate a certain frequency when uh, mechanical energy is put into it, piezoelectric function and, and energy will come out in a certain frequency. Um, Alright, I've lost my train of thought. Mark Ellen's brain fog has fogged me up again. But um, I, I found this all rather interesting. Um, who knows? what's really going on. Uh, there's a lot of things in the world that are not like they were, and not everybody seems to be noticing, although a lot of people are. Um, I don't know, I just hope that, uh, that enough people notice what's going on and that we haven't lost total control of what's happening, you know, that there are still enough good people who haven't been corrupted or co-opted by the the evil mind control signal, evil evilness, or not a member of the Illuminati cult of the New World Order, you know, there's got to be enough people in the world that aren't part of the evil system that are willing to stand up against it and say, you know, we don't want a world like this. We don't want to live under your fear and your artificial economic, you know, slowdowns and joblessness and homelessness and mortgage conspiracies and, uh, you know, we don't want to eat your genetically modified food and die of your laboratory produced induced diseases and take your medicines that do worse things than the diseases that you're taking them to cure. No, we don't want this anymore. I think most people feel this way. I think most people don't want uh, war, they don't want strife, they don't want starvation, they don't want mutilation, they don't want repression, aggression. They don't want to be murdered. They don't want to be killed. They don't want to be disempowered. They don't want to be owned. They don't want to be traded, sold, or enslaved. In fact, most people want love, attention, affection, approval, some power, choices feel like they have some control over their life. They want a sense of community. If they're healthy, they want fellowship. They want friendship. They want companionship. They want the ability to have uh, useful work. They want to be special. They want to do something unique. They want to stand out among all the other people for their individualness. Uh, they want to you know, people all want the same thing. Man. They want a life. They want a life at home, a hearth, a family, an opportunity, a chance. You know? They want a chance. And uh, it's clear that this new system, this new world antichrist system, is not going to give anybody a chance. It's not what it's about. 
It's about taking away your chance. It's about taking away your choice. It's about taking away what makes you you. And um, I think that if most people knew what they were in for, if most people woke up, you know, turned off the TV and uh, stopped feeding themselves the mind control subliminal programming and um, actually were told what was going to happen if they're being sprayed with uh, nanotechnology biological weapons and that they're being drugged to make them psychotic and crazy so that we can foment a great unrest a great collapse a great uh, murderous, riotous, killing with a natural disaster and, you know, who knows what these people have planned for us, man. We've seen what they did in New Orleans and what they did in uh, New York and what they've done in Iran and uh, Iraq and uh, everywhere else, so. Um, you know, I, I don't know how we're going to get to that place where most people want to be. Uh, we've, we've almost been there a few times, even though it was really only manipulation by the system to make us think a certain thing and believe a certain thing and do certain things. You know, we've never really had that in this country. And although the United States has been... Uh, Uh, it's told us a lot of things about what it is, and very few of them are true. That's uh, all I'll say on that. Anyway, thank you for your time. Uh, I pray for everybody who suffers under tyranny and repression and mind control and MK Ultra and New World Order. May God have mercy on us all.